Oh, look, I might be smiling, but I'm not happy. Five days ago, I had a whole load of stuff in my hands to bring and put in my van here. I went to open the tailgate. Nothing. It would not open. That's five days ago. It's been raining for five days. So I live in the van and I noticed all this damage. I was in a car park and some idiot has hit my car and damaged this mechanism so I can't open the tailgate. My kitchen is at the back of the car. So five days of trying to go to panel beaters, trying to get Volkswagen dealers to sort it out, I've got nowhere. So I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna show you what I've done. As you can see, I have to pull all this, covering all this masonite stuff off the back of the tailgate to try and get to the mechanism down here. And it's awkward because the bed's in the way, everything's in the way, but we're getting there. So this is a printout of what a dealer has kindly printed for us. This is the um, diagram of all the components and everything in the back of the tailgate and you can see I'm pointing to this part here this is the lock mechanism that goes down onto the bolt at the back of the tailgate and what I reckon is this little lever lifts up on this part here but what we've got to do is get to it because we can't get to it easily because the tailgate is closed been closed for days and we're gonna have a look at trying getting to that so what I'm doing is I'm Doing this little gremlin thing here, grinding away here on a bit of steel at the back. And grinding this bit here as well. And I'm going to move this bit of steel out of the way. So this is what I'm trying to do is grind this away with a little dremel. So this little dremel is just fantastic. So what we're going to do now is bend this bit of tin out of the way. Just bend it out of the way here. I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing, but it's pretty dark down here and pretty awkward. Now, that little lever mechanism I was showing you before is in under here. And this is a bit awkward to get at, I reckon. So, I'm going to try and get to it in here and lift this lever. And it's, it's important you see how this is all going on. Because we haven't had this tailgate open for days. And I can't wait. Here we go, mate. This is it. The big test. it works okay so this bit of tin here is what I've cut out of the way and if you come around here and show from this side basically I've gone in there and there's a little lever and I've lifted the lever up this little lever and that releases this lock and lets you get the tailgate open so many people were saying that I had have to smash the tailgate off and grind through here and all this stuff this little Dremel with a cut-off wheel was able to be in here like so to cut through here to get to that little lever. But we still have an issue. Um, the door handle is broken still. So we'll be pulling that off, the whole mechanism off. At least we've got the tailgate open. We can get to the kitchen. I can cook some food and have a cup of tea. Ah, oh, it's great to get it open. Well, we're at that stage where we get the dirty old clothes on. We're going to be working with some sockets. I'm going to go for this number 25 here. This is number 25 in these special starry things. Put the old reading glasses on. Got the old clothes. We've got the old socket kit here. And we're going to start pulling this thing apart and seeing what's wrong with the door handle here. So we're just going to start here because I assume that this is to do with going through they're both in line it looks like they go through to where the door handle is so it's probably going to be the part that undoes everything so it's coming out quite easily and um, it has a long screw as you can see so that would mean that it's going through to the door handle on the back so there's two long screws here the whole thing isn't coming out yet but it could be just the door handle part well, you know, it's day four, 
and we've been working on this project for so long getting this whole thing out this is called the rear lock carrier they're 550 bucks for the whole thing now unfortunately we didn't video getting it out we've had lots of instructions though from the local dealers you can see we've got this here this here from the local dealer and these on the net as well and this is a picture of the inside of it that we've printed as well now parts are off it so basically as you saw the whole thing wouldn't open at all as you saw we had to cut through here and get that plate back through we've got to finish putting the trim back on get some new trim all sorts of things but basically the inside of that key lock carrier seemed to be rattly there's so many springs in there and so many things and there's no information on the internet about the inside of it apart from that picture and it just took us hours and hours of fiddling and trying to work out what was going on and then in the end we realized that part of it was bent part of the, the interior was bent and so we straightened that up and it's what the the striker hits when you open the back door handle so we straighten that up when we're putting it together we've had it disconnected all the wires but one of the things that we did do we had this little unit before we put it all back together tied up to this here and that helped us to get that handle back in at the top of the tailgate or at least on the outside of the tailgate because there's a little thing that pushes down on a lever to unlock it and we couldn't get it in it was always underneath it and always just striking at nothing so one would think that the damage from the hit in the back of the car was caused and caused it to jump out of the way maybe there was nothing wrong with the inside of it but it was rattly we've sorted it out with just playing with it like a jigsaw that's all we were doing making it into a jigsaw and now incredible can't find the keys of the car the cameraman might have the keys of the car here we go so when we close the tailgate look at this this is fantastic it's locked we unlock it look at that it even opens better than it used to beautiful and of course we can lock it with a key there is one little thing that's really really awkward there's this little sir clip this little thing here and it's tucked in there like that right up the back in there and it's it's holding that key fob in from the other end and it's so awkward to get at that we decided that we're going to leave it out for the moment until we think about it so that's a critical part of getting the whole mechanism to bits it's very very fiddly don't undo these two screws here do not undo those they are holding the whole mechanism together those two don't undo them it's only that one and those two and then the whole thing comes apart so i hope our video helped you we've been pulling our hair out with this we're going to get some beer and we're going to celebrate big time good on you i hope you get something out of it i'm paul stanley see ya the real paul stanley the real paul stanley